Hi there guys, welcome back to the Fernet channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can mine document chain on HiveOS or Windows and I'll also be showing you guys my 24 hour mining results tomorrow. Right, okay, so the first thing that you're going to need to start to mine document chain is you're going to need to go ahead and grab yourself a wallet. Now, the best place that you can grab a wallet is on their GitHub and I'll go ahead and leave a link for you guys down in the description. So what you need to do is just go to their GitHub, scroll down and go ahead and select the win64 dash setup or the zip version that be there go ahead and click on this and go ahead and go through the basic installation process and then once that's completed it'll look a little bit like this okay so we need to do is just go ahead and click on this let that down download and extract it and then go ahead and run that and let that sync itself up so once you've gone ahead and installed your document chain wallet what you're going to need to do is just go ahead and create yourself a label and go ahead and copy yourself your address for later in the video. So if you're on HiveOS, this is how we would go ahead and set ourselves up the file. So what we need to do is head ourselves over to the flight sheet tab. Then we're going to go ahead and press on edit. We're going to go on the coin ticker. Okay. And we're going to type in there. Yes. Crypt. R. 32 okay it's very very important to ensure that that's correct then what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to go ahead and add yourself a wallet because you won't have one set up so click on wallet and then go ahead and type in the address that we just copied from our new DMS core and then go ahead and name that document chain and go ahead and press create then once that's done it's gonna ask you to configure it in the miner go ahead and because it's a cpu mineable coin make sure you press on cpu miner opt or you can also use cpu miner uh, r plan i believe as well okay so let's go to the setup miner config so as you can see here in the hash algorithm it's very very important that you click on the yes crypt so we just retype that again so yes crypt and I think it's not showing me because I've already got it selected up. But one that you do need to select on is the YesCrypt32 Wavi. Now, like I say, there is a couple different options on there. The global token and then the Wavi. I've gone ahead and pressed on Wavi. And it does seem to be successfully mining for myself at the moment. So I'd recommend for everybody to go ahead and press on Wavi. In the wallet and the worker template, just go ahead and make sure you've got wall dot and the percentage what at worker there. And you can go ahead and press the first little template at the top just there and that'll go ahead and fill that in there for yourself then for the pool you're going to need to go ahead and take yourself over to zpool and copy your own wallet at the pool address uh, so for myself this is the eu wallet but if we go over to the actual pool itself and we just let that reload for a second you can actually see um, that depending on your region you will have a different port or address to go through to okay guys so make sure that's super super important but when you come through how you would set it up is you go to you press your if you're in my country itself you would then type in yes crypt at the top here press on the yes crypt r32 go ahead and press dms here it's very very important then go ahead and paste in your wallet address there and then for the currency let's go ahead and change this down to dmc so where are we at or dms i do apologize okay so these are very very important details okay so what you're going to need to do is you're going to make sure that you keep the password for a little bit later on and then we'll come back to that i'm not sure why that just completely reset itself when i scrolled in there but let's just go ahead and do that really really quickly again just to show you guys so our script change that to dms paste our wallet address into there go down here and then change that into dm S. So as we see here, we can see the server URL and then we can also see our username and then the password. So let's go ahead this time and copy on the password, okay? And like I said, we've already got the pool address in there, but for your sake, if you haven't got your pool set, you would already be copying the pool and then changing that over with this part that's here. In the password, you're going to need to go ahead and paste the C equals DMS and then the ZAP equals DMS so that you're able to go ahead and start getting paid in the document chain coin. Now, if we go ahead and press apply and press update and then go to all workers, this will now update your worker and start to CPU mine YesScript and on the document chain. 
Okay guys, so let's go ahead and show you how you can set this up for your Windows PC. So all you're going to need to do is take yourself over to the GitHub that I'll leave in the description and this is for CPU Miner Opt. So let's go ahead and press on their latest version that just came out two days ago. So we're updating the version that I also have myself. Then what we're going to need to do on our desktop is we're going to need to go ahead and create a new folder so that we can actually go ahead and pop this in. So let's go ahead and press keep anyway. Let's go into the show folder and let's drag this on to the front of our screen. Okay, so now that we're on the desktop, let's go ahead and open up this folder that we just created here and drag and drop the file that we just downloaded. Let's extract these here. You may need something like WinZip or um, 7RAR or something like that, or WinRAR and 7ZIP, either one of them too. Now let's go ahead and close this down. Let's take ourselves over here. Let's press on create a new text document. Let's just call this DMS. Let's open this up. Okay, so now that you've gone ahead and created the bat file, what you need to do is you're going to need to go ahead and copy everything that I paste inside of this Dex document right now, basically. So as you can see here, uh, it's very, very important that you have the password as C equals DMS and the zap equals DMS on there. Make sure that you throw in there your wallet address from your core and then make sure you name your worker as well. So this is all that you should be expecting to be inside of your bat file. But let's go ahead and save as. Okay, let's put DMS and then in lowercase at and then go ahead and press save now if I've done this correctly it should just go ahead and start successfully mining on to Z pool for us and as you see we've already started to receive some accepted shares so that's a good sign and that means that it has been successfully set up correctly so now guys you should be successfully mining on either Windows or Hive OS as I said at the start of the video I do plan on doing a 24-hour video on this guys just to show you guys exactly uh, how profitable this could be I did receive a comment from on um, I think it was Omicron and he did say that this is one of the uh, top three uh, profitable coins right now so I thought I'd go ahead check that comment out verify that and let you guys know yourself uh, whether this is something that could be worth you know mining now I do want to make sure that I take uh, take a glance and just show you guys um, on to the minor pool stats as you can see here when it comes to the exchanges uh, this hasn't got a large amount of volume or anything like that so it's very very possible that you wouldn't be even be able to sell this cryptocurrency when it comes around to it okay guys so with this cryptocurrency i would expect to hold this for potentially maybe a couple days a couple weeks to see how it goes um but like i said until tomorrow until we get the result to know exactly how much that we're going to earn we will not know exactly anything at all but let's take ourselves over to zpool okay and let's do a quick refresh and see exactly what type of hash rate we've got and then we'll come back to this calculator and we'll check to see if um you know what the estimate that it's going to tell us that we're going to receive okay so let's just go ahead and do a quick refresh on there we should have now two miners on there one from the hive os and one from the windows pc okay so because it's not telling me the name of them we can see here that we're running at a few hundred hashes um so let's have a little look at this setup right here is there a way for me to to see what i'm running at no it's not going to show me on there so let's just take ourselves back over to the document chain let's just say for instance sake that we're running at around about 400 um hashes per second as you can see there guys that we would earn around about 9.6 dms a day or we would earn 0.05 usd per day in fiat value so as you can see at the moment it's definitely not classed as one of the most profitable cryptocurrencies at the moment or at least uh, from the information provided by Minerstat. And as you can see on the exchange list that's just over here, um, they're also, I don't really have that much uh, sell volume or even buy volume on their exchange at the moment. So definitely please make sure do your own research and take that into consideration before you do start to mine this coin. But as I say at this specific moment, a lot of the cryptocurrencies uh, that you guys have seen me mine on my channel um, within the next uh, you know, a couple, two, three months ahead, uh, I am starting to see that these cryptocurrencies currencies do pick up a little bit and then I also do see that I actually earn maybe 10 to 20 to 30 percent to sometimes even 100 percent uh, more than I actually earn you know from actually showing you guys the results so, so sometimes uh, mining and accumulating lots of random different cryptocurrencies at this specific moment in time for you know mining especially after the ETH merge um, is the only way to kind of keep up and, and try to keep yourself in a in a profitable margin uh, with mining so as I say guys I will show you guys the 24-hour mining results tomorrow so please make 
make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell as well so that you get notified for when I do release that video. Uh, but what I will do is I'll show you and I'll let you guys know whether it is profitable or whether it is worth your time carry on going forward. And also as well, guys, I'll don't forget to go ahead and hit the like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.